It says if Nike, Nike is a name brand for sportswear, if it represents the Greek goddess of victory, is it permissible to wear it? Well, here's the point. If those who are in charge of this company and the logo and the name brand, they put it together and their intent was to represent the goddess of whatever or the god of whatever, then as a Muslim, one of the requirements of the kalima is number one, negation, nullification, then confirmation. You negate the presence of any God, then you confirm the presence of only one God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there is no goddess, no gods other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. So la ilaha is a negation. There is no God to be worshipped. Illallah except exclusively Allah alone. So we do not believe that there is God for victory and God for defeat and God for rain and God for thunder. This is all the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If it was a coincident, such logo, coin sign, uh, a sign that was used in the ancient Greek civilization as well as in the ancient Egyptian civilizations or whatever, they have too many gods and goddesses. In this case, if it is a coincidence and they do not mean that, then there is no problem because I don't believe so. But if they chose this logo for this reason and they are proud to say that this logo represents uh, the goddess of victory, then as a Muslim, I cannot stand in the prayer or in a match or in a game wherein a sign of the goddess of victory because I'm raising this banner. The only banner should be raised as far as the concept of belief is la ilaha illallah. Okay?